Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2024.4 that is the latest version on VirtualBox. Go to Kali official website that is Kali.org. Hit enter. Then click on download or get Kali. Both of them. Click on either of them. Then see here we have the installer images, virtual machines and here we have many more options. But if you scroll down See here we have the Kali Linux 2024.4 or just click on installer images. We got the same page. If you want previous religious, you have to click on this Kali Linux religious. Click on here. See here we have the all the versions. Okay. So select x86 64 or Apple Zed Car. So select x86 64 and click on this download. This is direct download and this is by using torrent file. Either is fine. So click on this download. See download started. Go to download. See here the size is 4.1 gigabytes. I have already downloaded Kali Linux 2024.4 ISO file. Okay. I am cancelling this one. Because I have already downloaded. In your case wait until download completes. Once download is completed then open virtual box. If you haven't installed VirtualBox on your machine, then there is a link in the video description to install VirtualBox on Windows or Linux operating systems. Click on VirtualBox. See, I have one virtual machine. To create new virtual machine, click on New, click on Machine and select New or New. Both are same. So click on New, then provide the name. I am giving virtual machine name as Kali 2024 for VM then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folders for this is the default one if you are okay with this one it's fine if you want to separate folder then select drop down and select other then select the path here how the NO space Select the folder, then ISO image. So we have to select the downloaded ISO image by clicking on drop down and select other again. So it is there in this download. So select it, then click on open. See, once you selected, type as selected Linux. Okay, and subtype. See, we don't have Kali. Uh, so you can select Ubuntu. Or Debian. See, Debian is there. Okay, you can select either of them. Okay, because Kali is of type Debian or Linux type operating system. Okay, then select version as 64 bit. Then hardware by default it has selected 2 gigabytes. I am giving 4 gigabytes. It is up to you. Number of processes to then hard disk. I am giving 100 gigabytes. 100 gigabytes by because. By default, it has selected 20 gigabytes. Okay, if you are okay with all the settings, click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, click on settings or right click on it. Settings are selected and machine and select settings. All three options are same. So, if you are okay with all the settings, so click on start to install the Kali Linux 2024.4 on virtual box. Click on it. Let me maximize it. Close this one. Use up and down RS. See here we have the options like graphical install, install, advanced options, accessible dark contest installer menu, or install with synthesis, with switch synthesis. Okay, I am going with graphical install. So select it and hit enter. Now select the language and click on continue. Select your location. See, you can select location from this list. If it, if your location is not there, then select other. Okay. Then click on continue. Select keyboard language. I'm again English. Then 
now we have to provide the name for the host so i'm giving kali 2024 for vm later also we can change the host name click on continue if you have an existing domain or if you want to create domain you have to provide the domain name i don't have anything so click on keep as blank and click on continue now we have to set up a user so i'm giving user full name as r2 schools then this will be the user name if you want to change you can change r it's fine click on continue then provide the password for this user then click on continue we have to select the time zone see it is listed all us based time zones because we have selected country as united states okay i'm okay with the eastern so click on continue partition is i am going with guided user entities then click on continue continue all in one partition so click on continue see for ok with all the settings then click on then select this finish partitioning and write changes to disks and click on continue write the changes to disk and click on select yes and click on continue If you find this video helpful please subscribe my channel for more videos See now we have to select the desktop environment by default it has selected xfc but if you want gnome or kde plasma you can select I am not going to select any one of them. Then click on continue. It is up to you. See, installation is in progress. This may take time. I am pausing this video. See, install the Grub Bootloader to your primary drive. So select S and click on continue. Select the drive device and click on continue. See installation is completed. Also see here installation is completed. So it is time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation. Okay. After that. we have to click on reboot okay so we have to remove the iso file that is attached to this virtual machine so go to virtual manager then click on this virtual machine then go to this optical drive it must be empty if it is mounted you have to click on here and you have to remove from this virtual drive okay so no need to do anything just go to virtual machine and click on continue to reboot now provide the user that we have created then provide the password and click on login to login to the kali linux double click on this virtual machine again maximize it we will get the full screen see we got the full screen okay so click on this applications See here we have the different section for different tools. Okay, so now open terminal and let me increase the font five preferences. Then click on change. Then increase the font. I am going to give it to fifteen points. So click on apply. Click on OK. 
see font has been increased let me increase the terminal size also now verify the version of the kali leaks that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed kali linux 2024.4 dot four okay control l the first step after connecting to kali linux is we have to update the packages so give the command sudo apt update and upgrade the packages sudo apt upgrade hit enter see it is going to upgrade to 424 packages removing 0 and installing 31 and the space needed is 672 of this available space type ffr confirmation and hit enter see this may take time so in this video we have seen how to download and install kali linux 2024.4 on virtual box for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you